Hello, my name is Eric Jansen. I'm pleased to welcome you to the AMS booth here at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, Spain. Today, we're going to show you a number of sensor demos. Starting over here, of our gesture solution. So as everybody knows, touchscreen is very popular. Gesture is a new and coming application for smartphones so that instead of using the finger across the screen by waving the hand over the gesture sensor. So we believe that gesture will find its way into many smartphone and tablet applications in the future. In a shopping situation, many consumers want to redeem a coupon. And printed coupons are 1D barcodes. But a scanner cannot read a 1D barcode. So there's a new application that's needed to replace the 1D barcode, and that is called Mobeam. If we touch Beep and Go, then we can have digital coupons in the phone. So when we scan our items, one dollar for water, M&Ms, one dollar, gummy bears, one dollar, three dollars please. So for coupons, you can simply touch the coupon and it tells the scanner what it is. There we deducted one dollar for that coupon. And let's go back. Bottled water coupon. One dollar off. And my favorite, M&M's. Coupon, one dollar off. What this does is it beams the code to the scanner, telling the scanner what the coupon is. In other words, it fools the scanner into thinking that it saw a barcode. Actually, it's using the infrared LED. And we can also use this infrared LED for TV remote controls and other infrared remote controls as well. It's a better shopping experience. On the back of this watch are light emitting diodes and a receiver. And when the wearer puts on the sports watch, then you can see it's taking my heart rate. AMS has been providing this function to sports watches now for five years, and we will see this function populate through smartphones, and we will see the capability of detecting signals through the skin come to include oxygen, even blood glucose, so that diabetics will have a non-invasive method to know when to take their insulin. Color is one of the most important senses to humans. That's why we're spending so much money on new high-resolution AMOLED displays for cell phones and for tablets and for laptops. But many people do not realize that the ambient light temperature affects how they see color. So for example, if you look at this photograph, this is in a normal home environment, 2,500 degrees K. If you look at it in a colder office environment, now you see the colors look very differently. And outdoor light, they look even differently still. What AMS has developed is a color sensor which detects the ambient light and allows the manufacturer to correct the color on the screen that's displayed so that it looks the best under the conditions. 
Samsung just introduced this feature on their new Galaxy S5. Dell also has this feature in their newer high-end laptops. As you can see, there's a real difference in the two pictures here on the iPhone. This is with the color correction, and this is without. With the color correction, the colors are truer and deeper, and without, they're washed out. You can also see a difference here on the yellows and the light greens compared to here where they're vibrant. Here, you can say, I'm not really sure what color that is. With the color correction, you can really see. And there's a change, you notice, when we do it with home light versus doing it with office light. So the display on the right automatically adapts to the new ambient light condition. The same on these laptops, these tablets. This is color corrected, this is not. And as we change the color temperature of the ambient light, you can notice the colors here are deeper, here they're washed out. And the same here. The colors here are fuller and richer. And you can really see the difference in the two. Also, the skin tones come out much more naturally and the color corrected. OK, this is another demonstration of the color sensor. As you can see, I'm holding up a purple color, and the color sensor detects that and turns the light to purple. And blue, and yellow, blue and yellow together. So as you can see, this color sensor is quite versatile. And almost no ambient light on these. Now let's go to acoustic noise cancellation. Let's see. People don't like noise in their music. And when you put on headphones, if there's noise that gets in, it disturbs your listening experience. If now you can see the noise is getting through. And any noise without this gets through to the headphones. Now I don't hear anything outside me, except for my music. Works very well. So everyone can enjoy active noise cancellation. Now we'll demonstrate the gesture capability from AMS. Gesture can detect the direction. Can be very quick. <laughs> In the future, gesture capability will develop to the point 
where fingertips will be recognizable. So you'll be able to turn buttons, pull things, push things, tap things, spread your fingers. All this you'll be able to do without touching the screen physically. And really enhancing the ability to do useful things and have fun, especially for computer games. Another future technology for the cell phone is NFC, Near Field Communications, which is not only nece uh, necessary and useful for tap and go pairing, but also for payment functions, which will be very popular in the future. This is a cell phone that has an NFC chip in it. One of the ways that NFC is so secure is that when you bring it in close and you get it within the reader, then it's a very secure transaction. There are not other devices that can come in and read the NFC reader. In addition, there are a very uh, number of layers of encryption making the transaction very secure. And as soon as your transaction is done, it's safe. <laughs>